Welcome to my forensic studio. You guys have been here. It's pretty trippy. Um, what this device does over here, you have auto contrast by channel, which is separate the colors, auto contrast, histogram, which is the vibration and frequency. I'm not really sure to my knowledge how it works, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to go contrast by channel. Okay. And then I'm going to show you right here the edges of the, what's carrying this large screen projector this is like an LCD screen at your house now there's the Sun I don't even have this magnified because it's so big it's like the back side of a TV but right here look at notice the Sun notice the purple up here and the purple black spot remember how we've shown stuff like that now what if this is just a projector and this see the platform is like an oil platform like an oil tanker platform right like a big old platform that's floating up there there's some kind of device right there maybe that's a, a light that shines up into it but right here is like a projector you know I'm just speculating guys I'm making a you know but you notice like the, the different color variations we're seeing when well, look on this picture the different color variations okay and so um, I'm just saying it's pretty obvious good capture Amy unreal and this is just contrast and you can see the metal stage we making this you know sky machine thing up you know um, Dominic shows that he gets a lot of slack let me tell you why we're showing it. I'm a watchman, you know, and I'm all about, you know, God, Jesus. I haven't been preaching a lot because I've been putting up videos I've already done preaching on and spending more time showing you real precisely what's going on. This is the best capture off the ISS I've seen. And it ain't fake because I could tell with this, this tool. So there it's projecting that sun. That might be a projector. Now, when you look at this thing through the level sweep, I'll go there. Level sweep, um, it just changes the lighting, and I'm gonna start showing you as I fade it out the lighting that is throwing because the light will stay. See how much light this thing is throwing? I can still show you the, the thing but up here is all the light that is throwing. See the black object in the corner? Remember, I was showing you that before I did that. See, I think it's like a picture in Mexico or somewhere. Or it's like a generic picture and they could change the mountains. But you see how it's showing the red object up there? Now, the other thought I got was um, maybe all this is a projection of the whole sky. Like I'm showing you the whole sky with the red sun. Maybe they made it up like this picture. This is a picture. And why is it floating there? I don't know. I don't know how they would use the light to project that on Earth. I'm not that, um, you know, above my pay grade. A lot of things are above. Spelling's above my pay grade. Ha <laughs> ha! But this little tool, it just really outlines and defines. See the, the definition on that thing? Now, we've been seeing all that pink and red. Like, like why is there pink and red? Because this is an actual picture. Okay, let's get another let's get another picture to show you. Let me see. Luminous Grantus. Oh, look at the sky machines. Now this like that's kind of scary. What this does, watch. Everything that's solid, right? Um I'm just using the arrow here, don't worry about the pink. But everything that's solid here, right? watch it will outline it and give it like a um, topographic map map this is absolutely mind-boggling so we know that the ISS is real or we think it's real right but well, watch this we're like well that could just be a, a light reflection I can hear people saying well, this is just a real light reflection off the ISS and it looks square watch this it ain't no light reflection off the ISS go to the luminous grantus granted it will bring it up and you see how you can see this with the with the magnifier you can see the surface how it's built um, 
more of this light you can really see it look at all these objects okay so like if I look at this right here let's say you can see what the object is and if I bring it down I think that's your projector I don't know I'm just saying you know but I'm gonna bring the intensity up now and that's gonna intensify it this thing's got legs it's like a platform there's your projector box you see, see how it outlines it now if I bring the opacity down a little bit you really get to see the metal the edges that's whatever that thing is that they're floating it's like a giant drive-in theater just like I said on my ad giant drive-in theater that's insane right now all you scientists out there come on break it down if you want to clip this you know join membership so you have total right to use this and you narrate it because some of you people are experts on the IRS I mean ISS but you can't tell me this ain't one of the best captures off the ISS I've ever seen this is unexplained uh, phenomenon, right? It ain't paranormal. This is man-made. I don't think this is UFOs. I don't think this is aliens. I think this is the United States of America. And I don't think it's Russia or China. They ain't got enough, you know, they're not there yet. China might be there, but I don't think China's going to waste money like this. I don't know. It could be the propaganda machine. But look at all this other stuff in space. I was going to show you this. If you take a little cruise out here in space, there's the surface of the planet. Here's space. And you see all the objects that are out there? No, that's not what the show's about, but this tool, I could search space and find all kinds of hidden objects that are in the dark. And if I say, like, let's say I run over the, the planet that's infrared, it will pull it right out. Well, let's say the planet was over here, and I've checked it. It would show you the planet. So it's a good tool to have. Um, let me show you a, a filtered picture I did on this. That one I filtered a little bit. This one I blew up, so let's see what we get. It might blur too much. Let's go to the uh, magnifier only. This one I clarified a little bit and stuff with the filter. Still way too big there's your black spot in the corner there's your pink cues we see every day so are we looking at project blue beam if they shut me down for this guys you know this is just stupid I mean I don't know how many other people seen this but that's pretty freaky it looks like a scene from a beach anyway said enough about that let me check another one I could do other things with this, but that's the most important thing I want to show you. So I say, I always ask, what's in your skies, right? <laughs> well, i show you what's in my skies. Um, clone detector is like if you got UFOs, you turn that on. And you hit this. No clones. The UFOs, you can see the UFOs cloning because they're exactly like, they have like a whole fleet of them. But this this thing, I call it the drive-in in space. Maybe Elon put up one for his Corvette or his DeLorean or whatever he drove up in space. Maybe he put up a theater so he could drive in his theater. <laughs> I don't know if my wife was laughing at me or crying or joking. But you know, Elon Musk did have a car up in space. I'm not making that up. Go ahead, go, go, go research yourself. You know, people ask me, what's the date? Where are we at? Read the page. Either come in in the beginning of the video. If you didn't, then go back to the beginning. And I always explain and show you, you know, banners and all that. And um, that's why I don't answer some of those questions. Because I know now that I'm putting a lot of information. But anyways, welcome to the space theater I found with Amy. Well, Amy found it, and I'm explaining my side of the story. Amy can explain her side of the story. I see right there they're projecting like a white planet and a black planet. Then you got all your different colors in your beach areas and your rock. I think I know what this is. This is definitely a Mexico picture. Anyways, got the run. That's your forensic side of this thing. I'll talk to you later.
Next video, Canada, five planets around the sun. Not sun dogs, not lens flares, actual planets.